Good morning on Saturday. Yay! And what a Saturday it is. It's a little bit chilly out there, as in he's already been out and done the, oh no, not on these paws, and come straight back in. She very quickly went for a wee and then, oh no, too cold on the body. Um, as always, whenever someone asks me um, about what tablets I take and I explain, people are, are um, always very nice and they uh, share their stories of being on medication as well. And then I had um, a nice message as well saying um, that it's it's great that I can be honest about um, like why I take these tablets and stuff. And, um, you know, and that for some reason they're still kind of like... Um, a societal shame in taking antidepressants and things um which is obviously ridiculous if you have something wrong with any part of your body including your mind and there is something that you can take for it that is relatively um cheap and quick and painless etc um then you should do it it's a chemical imbalance in your brain and these are some chemicals. That's all I see it as. There's no shame. I mean, what is the shame is, you know, the 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 trauma and the um, conditions and the nature and nurture of um, mental health conditions. Those are the shame, but they are not my shame and they are not your shame if you have them either. Anyways, today started off with a good sale. Just just one sale so far. I'm waiting for someone else to pay um, for this ring. But yeah, I bought this little um, Art Deco Billwood case with some lovely dovetailing on there. I won't open it up because it is all like sealed and sellotaped and stuff. Um, but yeah, gorgeous little case for 50 pence and it sold this morning for 59.99. Chuffed with that sale. It is large letter size, but there's no way I'm gonna let that go large letter. That is gonna go nicely packed in a nice box and by Royal Mail. So there. Today could either be a really short or a really long video. I am off to Carla's today. Um, so I'm guessing we're probably gonna kitchen with um a christmas film tonight or something and then tomorrow will be the last car boot for who knows how long um and then on monday we're having our christmas dinner with josh so that would be nice so obviously at some point i've got to like edit stuff um someone might be taking over my youtube channel tomorrow I you know, who knows? Um, but for today, it might just be this and some calendars, or I am waiting on a delivery of some jewelry, but it's Hermes that are meant to be delivering. And um, my regular Hermes guy um, appears to, to be off. Hope he's okay. Um, but yeah, so, there could be some of that on it, or it could just be this. I don't know as yet, because obviously at some point I've got to kind of make that call and go, right, well, actually I'm off. So, yeah. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Oh, I do have a cool story. Cool story, bro. Right. So, I had this pair of earrings. And I've taken them down now. Um, because in my, right, in my Sparkly Things video, um, not video, group, um, I posted just this thing about um, how someone found uh, this brooch, this like gold brooch that's like however many hundreds of years old and like how awesome is that, like the history of it. And um, just coincidentally, I had some of these like Celtic design earrings on my store. And like we do always wonder about like, like it, wouldn't it be cool to know some of the history of these things and stuff like that like isn't that awesome 
Um, someone messaged me about these earrings and I'll read out the whole, like the, the chain of messages on eBay about them. These aren't on sale on my eBay store now because, um, because I'm, I'm sort of like, do I, do I keep them now? I might keep them now. Now that I know they're a part of their history, it's kind of a bit cooler. But anyway, so there's this guy, he's called Buckle Shop on eBay, if you want to check him out. Um, he's in Seattle, Washington though, in America. However, it says, so he messages me going, ah, those are supposed to be Celtic style dogs. At least that's what I was intended. My friend and I made them about 25 years ago or so. These ones, now I put them down as like, um, just animal, lizard, snake things, but he says they're dogs. And I suppose looking, you can't really see, but like I, the heads on them are a little bit doggy, I suppose. They remind me a bit of foo dogs. But yeah, it's like, okay, that's cool. Um, and I replied, these actual ones, no way. He said, yes, I recognize the style as well as the method, which was pretty primitive at the time. We constructed something to etch the acid, etch the acid from scratch and initially made a mistake that caused a small acid plume in the neighborhood. Thanks for the good memories. Um, and I replied, yeah, like, that sounds like fun. I remember in school in the 90s making um, a circuit board and etching copper with acid. Maybe a similar technique it was fun anyway. I'll change the title um, to say what animal it is, although I've actually taken it down. Um, are you based in the USA? Pretty cool that you made Celtic designs. Would you like credit in the listing? He says, yes, that's sort of what we were doing. It was great fun. No need to credit me. Um, I was not I was not in the US at the time. I and two other people were renting an old Indian embassy in Chiang Mai, Thailand. $400 a month split three ways. We made Celtic and other designs and sold them wholesale to foreign tourists. To add to the story, a huge Californian wholesaler flew over just to negotiate with us. He brought a few thousand dollars for samples and stated that he was looking to buy 10K a month which was a dream come true for us. Before that could happen, he was busted and put out of business for under-reporting customs duties. It was front page news in his hometown and we had just added our roommate from Belgium to the business as he was an artist and we thought that he would be great for designing. However, shortly thereafter, our new partner took all the money in the bank account and skedaddled and that was the end of that. Take care. And then I replied, wow, that's an insane story. Thank you so much for telling me. I think I'm gonna keep these now that I know the history of them. Hope business has gone well for you since. And he said, T um, take care, Lex, and hope that you have a great Christmas season. How cool is that? So like, that's where these come from. These just, just little pair of earrings have come from this guy and his whole crazy history of his business. And, and wow, just in a, Little pair of earrings. So cool, isn't it? Anyways, I'll be back soon with the calendars after I've had my coffee. Calendar time. We've got Azumi. Would you like to open calendars, Azumi? Well, maybe you can do that tomorrow, perhaps. Oh, yeah, that's a good girl. Only right. if it's got dreamies in. Only if it's got dreamies in, yes. Well. Mum's just putting kettle on, which is a hint for me to open up this calendar to find out what coffee we're having today. Oh, I didn't realise there was a little booklet explaining them all. <laughs> <laughs> With four left. Oh, well, there we are. Okay. Oh, right. Today's one's La, Nue La, La Nueva Montana. Montana. Mm. Um, tasting notes of strawberry and chocolate. Let's go diddly -o. In the cafe, yeah, and while we're over here, let's uh, let's see what. Well, I'm not sure how much I can fit in into the few minutes between like now and me getting on the train to Carlos, but you know we'll 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 see what we can what we can challenge today. Take an hour. Oh, I can do this on the train actually. Uh, to research Christmas traditions from other cultures, cultures, and what surprised you now. What did surprise me is when, what did surprise me is that my brother ever got married for a start. Um, but he got married to a um, Japanese lady, Aya. Um, yeah, no, she was called Aya, which is great in Wales. Aya, Aya. <laughs> um, 
And she was saying, well, that this is actually quite common to have just like KFC on Christmas Day. Because, like, they obviously they don't, they don't, they're not Christian over there. They're, they're not, Buddhist. Yeah. Buddhist. Well, and like lots of different. Yeah, exactly. So they did, Christmas to them, it, it's a consumer holiday, which is kind of what it is here, really, isn't it? Um, and so, like, the shops don't close or anything, but it is a thing now to have KFC on Christmas Day. Because that's why Mark is always just like, oh, I'll just have a roast chicken. I'll just go, you know, chicken and chips. Mm. That's what he's used to for Christmas Day. Yeah. That's, that's him. He's quite happy doing that. Because, yeah. you know... Like, how long did Mark live in Japan for? Like, I think it was a few years. It was quite a while, wasn't it? Mm. It was quite a while. But yeah, let's find, find some other... Uh, on the train, what well, we always used to have... No, but from ones rabbit. from other countries. Oh. Yeah, you and your rabbit. Yeah, and Dad used to have rabbit pie and say that, that it was one of my recently dead rabbits that he was eating. <coughs> so bastard. Yeah. But no, but ones from other countries. Like, lo we have lots of German traditions that we think are British traditions, don't we? Like the whole tree thing. Yeah. That's German, isn't it? Christmas cards, German. No, I don't think they're German, I think. Is it not? I think somebody was fed up of going around wishing everybody a happy Christmas. So it was just like, have a bit of paper through your door. Yeah. Oh, no, one that did shock me is that um, it used to be on Christmas cards, like pictures of dead robins. That's awful! Why would you send someone a picture of a dead robin? Happy Christmas, dead robin. The bloody hell! Weird, weird. But I'll I'll try and find a, another couple of weird ones and see if we, maybe we can do some over the weekend. I think that might be kind of fun. Or I mean, like I'm up for getting KFC. <laughs> right, our chalky for today. Oh, is my favourite one, milk chocolate gingerbread man. I'm gonna take that on the train with me to have a normal um we've got perfume for today so that i can smell extra delightfully lovely is oh it's called sweet by lolita lempica lolita lempica and une cold glossaries go oh okay um the list Delicieusement transgressive scandule me scandulesmo music. Musquet, sorry. A cherry a cherry coca lip gloss. It's a lip gloss, I thought it was meant to be a perfume. Exquisitely No, it's definitely not a lip gloss. At least I don't think so. Oh, but it is it is Delicious. It smells like cherry liqueurs, like mm. cherry liqueur chocolate, with a bit of a tang. No, oh, that's quite nice though, and I quite like oh, it's, it's, I mean, I could eat it, but I'm not going to. That would be silly. Um, in our Lisa calendar today, what is it, Azami? What is it? What's it going to be? Do you want to sniff? Like that? Oh, as as me quite likes it. And what have, what have we got here? What do you think, as me? Yeah, yeah. Um, we have got a, a tassin brat, a low carb mug bread. We've got <laughs> sorry, just the German for garlic. <laughs> Nobluck, 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 Nobluck. We've got yeah. some Nobluck. Oh, well, there we are. Nobluck it's bread. Probably well. Yeah. Named. Oh, oh yes. Let's try this coffee. With with notes of chocolate and oh, this looks chocolate and strawberry and Nobluck. Again, I'm not getting the strawberry until very late. I think. But this is a nice smooth one. Mm. Very mellow. This is nice. Almost creamy in a way. Yes. Isn't it? Mm. Like not in texture, in like mm. strawberry and chocolate thing. Hmm. Yeah, I'm getting the chocolate. 
it's like i suppose having a fry strawberry cream just dunked in it for a second yeah that kind of thing yeah yeah it's nice it is nice very mellow one that that's yeah, very smooth like not bitter at all that's yummy right and in the shallander today ooh, ooh, is mystery is a my well they're all a mystery obviously that's kind of the point of wrapping it up oh it's like little crackers <gasps> mom come back mom come back come back because one of these are for you Hotel Chocolat. Oh, wow. Ooh. It's got a little chocolate in it. Ooh. Well, I'm presuming. Oh, yes, there is. Do I have to open it? No, you don't have to open it. Do you you can keep, keep it for later. You can keep the chocolate for later. For later. It's <gasps> so pretty. Oh, my God. Caramel cheesecake flavour. Oh. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep that again for Christmas Eve. Absolutely. I'm gonna put it on the mantelpiece. I'm gonna put mine on the tree. Oh, thank you very much. And put that. It can be guarded by the lion. There we go. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yum to yum. Right. More coffee. And um, yes, I don't know if this is going to be at the end of today's vlog or if there's going to be um, a little bit of jewellery unboxing because Mr Hermes hasn't been yet but it's still early on in the day-ish yes so if not a bye-bye now bye-bye <laughs>